the following topic, the <coughs> continuous beam modeling with parametric option if possible, or how to use it for span. Okay, before we get into this, I would like to finish now also with the column discussion uh, with, you said, with smart parts. I'll show a bit how smart part works and uh, you decide if they are suitable for you. If they are suitable, we can think of something if, we, if it's worth for you to learn how to do your own smart parts. From my point of view, it's not worth it, but this is why I want to show you fastly what is it about. We, in the bonus tools, there are these smart parts, I think you know them. You have the uh, unfinished structure, concrete, columns. So I have this column, which is usually prefabricated shape, but it's still, it's very simplified. It's not a fully, really detailed uh, uh, prefabricated columns. The more prefabricated option the prefabricate uh, this uh, tool actually is better than what you get from uh, this uh, option so uh, smart part if you want to do precast industry i don't know how it's precast in india if it's if it's developed or not you have this option you use precast it's not developed right or you use, uh, you pour the concrete, you, you don't use normally, okay, because in Germany and yeah, uh, Western Europe, they uh, use a lot of precast because of, uh, it's uh, faster, it's not cheaper by any way, but it's faster delivery of the project and better precision. So if you need precast uh, elements, you have this uh, function, concrete construction 3D object, and uh, you get here more complex uh, for instance this type they are all parametric in terms of formwork and geometry and uh, you can change them uh, so you can only input it uh, input some options at the beginning and but later you cannot change them parametric you only change them by stretching them or doing uh, other type of modifications so once you place them, they are no longer parametric. For parametric, you can use smart parts or Python parts. Uh, if I want to do any changes for this column, once I place it, I can use this option, which is stretch entities and do other adjustments for the column. They are not, let's say, parametric, but it does the job. So I, it finishes whatever I need, any shape. And I get a good start. So I start from something close and then uh, get somewhere. Uh, what I'm going to show you now is with the smart parts reinforcing. Uh, so I can go here in the bonus tools, smart parts, inserts, well, not that one, smart part. Also, there is uh, Alplan Connect where you can look for more smart parts, columns. I'll pick this one and here we can go through the settings a bit. We can decide whether we need the corbel or not. So once I will deactivate the corbel, I hit to zero. It's only one simple column, which I can adapt. So if I can place it here and then I can deactivate the column itself, I can also deactivate the the shape of it so uh, anyways i'm the i deactivated the corbel i can input the concrete cover and then i decide what reinforcement do i need and then go in the column and have for instance 0 3 by 7 4 and a certain height then I have diameters for the main bars. They are marked here on the drawing. So I have main longitudinal bars, which can be 16. And then additional bars, it's two. If I need intermediate rebar, I can add also one intermediate rebar. So I either work on these parameters. And here are also some details for ending and for start. 
and I also can control the overlap in one direction or other, so I say 0, 8. But that is for open stirrups. Okay. Yes, it's okay. So I can start with open stirrups at the bottom and finish with nothing or finish with open stirrup as well. That can be an option. Also, I know we can actually deactivate even the formwork with to see no concrete anymore. Uh, show main reinforcement. Okay. Show column. Anyways, actually I can replace the column. So this is, let's reinforce this central column. So I'm just placing the smart part here in order to get a better view of the reinforcement. I can do right click, set surface and make this concrete as well, or just keep it transparent, 74% transparency. So now what I'm going to do now is move it here and then start doing some fast adaptation of it. So I can look like this on it or just create an associative section of it. If I create the smart parts, you see here we have the formwork, we can change. Or I'll just go like this, select this entire, place it inside the foundation. And then uh, make the smart part longer, just double click it and change it in any view that I like. And if I need other changes for it, for instance, changing spacing, I can do this. So I can start from smart part. If I double click, what it happens, everything regenerates according to the settings. So if I'm to impose a small, a small step for the ties or for the stirrups, say 0 0.075 on all regions. And then hit close. And remember, we can also save the settings. So, oh, something went wrong. Uh, let me get back to see what I changed. So I'll go back to the column. Steer up spacing. Okay, it's a small spacing. Diameter is eight. Ah, length. Okay, length. It's bigger. I don't know. It's bigger. Ten whatever the spacing was smaller okay so uh, I choose uh, some initial settings and then I can save them to say this is column 30 by 60 and if I, I save the settings other colleagues can use them or I can bring them back and then I can do the same trick uh, I've shown you so I offset some lines and then establish that this ha should have just a minimum reinforcement for stirrups and then do here the change so I can increase the spacing to 0.15 but uh, no not this way it's the same idea I can go like this select only some of them do this small trick so moving them Select again. So select this area which was splitted and then change some uh, the steps to be the spacing to be 0.2. But the problem is if I'm doing like this, so I start changing the smart part. If I double click on the smart part, then go close it will regenerate. So smart part is always parametric. So it means I either create a smart part for each floor to control the top, the intermediate, or 
I do once only one column from the foundation to the top level of the building and then start doing some modifications. Smart part can be useful if I'm trying to adapt it to adapt it now to another column which is different. Okay, but let me snap to a corner. So I can move this one. Oh, we don't have many different. Okay, this one can do the trick. So I hit double click. Okay, the handles are on the other side. Bad luck. So double click on this smart part. Okay, I think there is one option not to change them like this. So um, now it, I have to actually to center, to center it in order to have the good uh, a good result. Or I can just input manually the parameters for the columns of the new width, uh, width and uh, length. It tells me that I already placed in the drawing some uh, smart parts. I don't want to update them. They can show them to me. So similar. And this is the result and it remains parametric. For instance, if I want to change the shape, I just double click it to change the number of rebars. You just go to settings and change here the number of bars, one extra bar, diameters for the bars and whatever we need. And hit escape. So it's somehow parametric, but uh, it's more complicated when it comes to, okay, and I extended the area too much with the steer up. I placed 10 meters and the building is shorter. But anyway, this is another way of doing. Uh, the problem with creating your own smart part is the code, which is quite uh, complex. I will show you what how it works for you to assess if it's uh, good for